Okay, guys, guys, don't panic. But I think I may have just started a subscriber war with some random 12-year-old. Which is exactly why you should all subscribe. Oh, Poke Center. All right, we got the Poke Center, guys. We're good. Got it all done. Ooh. This is like a full-on city. This is crazy. Huh? Just leaves? Wait. Yeah, oh, it's Toriel's house. Wait, so why is there just a one-to-one -one recreation of Toriel's house in, like, all gray? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Wait a second, guys. Guys, howdy. There's only one other character who has said that word. Wait, there's even golden flowers too. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins, injured by its fall. The human called out for help. Um... Why are they talking frogs telling me stories? Alright, well, I'm pretty sure Flowey is the one down in the garden, not Asgore, because we've only heard Flowey use that word, howdy. Not oh, old recipes. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Azriel, Toriel, Asgore, oh my god. Azriel and Toriel were the king and tween. Wait, is that why that one room was blocked off back at Toriel's house? Was that like Asgore's room or something? Oh, and that's why there's failed recipes back in the kitchen because he's trying to recreate his wife's pie, but he was never able to do it. What? Wait, a dagger? First episode, I called it. We have a knife. We have a knife and there's nobody that can stop us. We're gonna go kill the morning father of his dead children over time. Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and the tween treated them, the human, as a child of their own. The underground was full of hope. This is actually really sad. It's all coming together. Azrael and Toriel had a son named Azrael, and then they had a human kid come down and they adopted them. And then I'm guessing both of them died for some reason. And somehow I'm going to assume Asgore is blaming the human kid for getting Azrael killed. And that's why Asgore wants to go and get all of the human souls. Meanwhile, uh, Toriel is more just kind of like, no, I got to save all the human children. Then... One day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Oh, so the yellow flowers are, fl are the flowers from their village, and that's why they're everywhere. The next day, the human died. Oh! Oh, that's so sad. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers, carried the human onto it. And the golden flowers is the kid's corpse. Oh, and the flashback was Azriel finding the kid. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I mean, I'm about to get murdered, and I'm hearing a really sad, somber story about the guy who's about to kill me, so not really. They're going to be free. Free from my life, I guess. Alright, this is really cool. But oh, and there's the symbol everywhere from the ruins. Uh, oh, it's Sans! Wait, Sans is here! Wait, why is Sans here? Oh, I like that sound effect. That's a nice sound effect. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. 
It stands for execution points. Oh, that's way darker than I thought it was. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Oh god. I think we're at an 11 or something like right now. I mean, we're pretty violent. I'll give them that. We are pretty violent psychopaths here. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave it up to you. Okay. Wait, he just disappeared! Wait, he's gone! Alright, final words of encouragement from the big boss, and there's the symbol from the runes everywhere. I'm guessing that's like the royal symbol or something. Alright, let's go here. What's down here, though? I feel like this is going to be some extra bonus thing. I don't think- is this the intended path? It might be. Oh! Oh, it's the tombstones! It's my tombstone! So this is where he's been keeping the tombstones for all the dead kids. Uh, well, you know what? It's probably a good sign that the guy we're about to go say hi to has a tombstone with our name on it. Quite literally. We still have the pie from Toriel. That's a really overpowered healing item. Knowing what EXP stands for now, I think we're actually, we're actually pretty dangerous. Golden flower. Oh, he's here tending the garden where his kid died. Here we are. Oh, he's so much kinder than I thought. Howdy! How can I... Oh. Oh, that face. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. Oh no, he misses- he's reminiscing about playing catch with his dead son. Oh, this isn't looking good for us. I mean, we do look like his dead kid, maybe he'll take pity on us. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Oh, can we sit in the throne? Can we become the king? No, it doesn't look like we can. Wait, oh, that one's Toriel's throne, isn't it? Yeah, it's Toriel's throne, so I'm guessing that Toriel, like, broke up with Asgore. Or maybe they think that Toriel's dead? How oh, tense. Just to think of it like... A visit to the dentist. Okay, one, this is nothing like a visit to the dentist. Two, this is the same room from the start of the game. It's so fancy and thematic and poetic. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Let's prepare ourselves. This is going to be the final and most difficult boss of the entire game. Whatever, let's fight. Let's fight Asgore. Oh, that is cool. That is a cool effect. How did he do that with pixel art? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please, do what you must. He really does not want to actually kill us. He's like, he's having serious second thoughts here. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Oh. Oh, he's gonna put our soul in a jar. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with DETERMINATION! Yes! I am filled with determination. Human, 
It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ah. Uh, oh! Wait. Wait, what? What? Wait, he just straight up broke the mercy button. Oh god, oh no. He has like a stronger version of Toriel's magic. This is not good. Oh, and he has so much health. Yeah, this is just a stronger version of the Toriel fight. I guess that makes sense, actually. It's like ending the game where it started. That's pretty nice. All right, we gotta stab him. He's got like a pitchfork. He's got horns. There's fire. It's amazing. Oh, what? Eh. I was just about to make a joke about him being the devil, and I just started swinging stuff at us. Uh, wait, let's eat the pie. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was max. The smell re reminded Asgore of something. Wait, yes! We made the right decision to save that pie until the end of the game. Look! It lowers his attack and defense because now he's thinking of Toriel. Oh, I see. I see how this attack works. So his eyes show you whether his next attack will be blue or orange, and then you have to either move or not move to avoid it. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. This is a really epic soundtrack, though. Ah! No! That's just hard to dodge. I don't have an excuse for it, but it, it's just hard to dodge. All right, we got- we're actually doing pretty good. If we just do this flawlessly, we might be able to beat him first try. Come on. I believe. I believe. As hard as this boss is, this is actually a lot easier than the Undyne fight was. Oh. I say as I instantly die, okay? <laughs> Maybe he has, like, phases, because final bosses always have, like, multiple phases. And as it is, like, he's strong, but he's not as strong as Undyne was. So I'm assuming after we beat him, there's gonna be, like, a second phase to this boss fight. He's gonna absorb the human souls or something, and then become, like, almost a god, and we're gonna have to fight him again. That is a really cool introduction to the fight, though. Just shattering the mercy screen. There is no mercy here. Which does raise the question of how we're supposed to beat him in the pacifist run, but that's a future me problem. Yeah, look at that sprite as well. Like, he won't even look us in the eyes right now. I'm getting the feeling that he really does not actually want this. Like, he does not want to kill us. Which is a real shame, because now we're going to have to kill him. I know that LV and stuff is supposed to be level of violence and all, but I do wish that we got just one extra level of LV so that we could have 64 health. I really love the music in this game, though. I am definitely... I got the DLC version of this game that comes with a download for the entire OST. So I'm definitely going to start using this music in, like, other videos as well. All right, we're getting better at dodging his attacks this time. 180 damage. Get that guy. Get that guy out of here. Stab him. Get him. Okay, we completely missed the critical hit, but it's okay. Okay, I guess with this game, they don't do phases. They just get stronger as their HP gets lower, apparently. Because I feel like that's how it was with Undyne as well. And yeah, the lower his HP is, the stronger his attacks are getting. Like, they're not doing more damage, but they're getting a lot harder to dodge. Wait, are we going to do this on our second try? No way we do this on our second try. There's got to be a second phase to this fight. Yes! Oh, we did it! We did it! Ah, uh, we beat him! Second try! You're a terrible final boss! So, that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become a godlike being. Free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Knew it! Yes! Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I feel like this ends the game either way. With the other major characters, I've been trying to show them mercy so that they help us out later. But this is the final decision of the game. I think this determines the ending. So obviously, we're going to kill him. We're not going to show mercy without motivation. If we have the option to kill him, that's what we're going to do. Death. Yes! So long. You were actually a really nice guy, but, you know, 
the urge to kill. Ah! Oh. What was that? You! No, don't you dare laugh at me. So, you finally get it. In this world, it's kill or be killed. What? The game just trashed. Why did the game trash? Oh wait, the intro is different. One day that they all disappeared without a trace. What is happening? Uh, what? Flowey level nine nine nine. My world continue restart. Uh, have I broken the game? No. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Oh, there's a save point. Oh! File erased? What do you mean, file erased? Howdy! Why is he on a TV screen? It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. Oh no! We've helped the evil flower! But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Oh! Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to finally have a soul inside of me again. So is he a ghost or not? Now I'm confused. I really thought he was just going to be a ghost at like the end of the game. Hmm, I can feel them wiggling. That's... okay. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? No, not really. I'm an introvert. Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> I've never been so scared of a flower. Oh, and forget about escaping. Save file. Wait, what? Wait, he knows about the save files? It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? Yeah, I mean, you've kind of taken over the computer at this point. I'm not sure I can do anything. I might need to get a new computer. <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh, God. Huh? What's going on? What is that? What is that? Why is there a giant mutant flower? That is the scariest flower I've ever seen. What? Is a TV? Oh! That's- WHAT IS THAT?! What is on my screen right now? What is that? Ah! What? What is happening? What? Ah! What? I shouldn't have killed him! I made the wrong decision! I made the wrong choice! <laughs> the game crashed again. Is it gonna do that every time? Uh, is that even a, a possible boss to beat? <laughs> 
Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied? Killing you only one time? That is the most terrifying pixel art boss I've ever seen. And what's with the TV? The rest of it I get, but what's with the TV? I don't think this is a beatable boss. What's going on? Oh, those hurt. Oh, no, they don't. You called for help. Yes, please help. Oh, oh, it's healing. Band-Aids. Yes, heal me. Is that like a checkpoint? Please tell me that's a checkpoint. What is that? <laughs> hey, I'm getting nuked. Okay, these don't actually hurt, but they make the hurt noise. Oh, it's the act button. Called for help. Give me more healing. I need more health. Wait. Wait, yes, it's the like button. Twick, guys, like the video to give me health. Twick, everybody like and subscribe to Axel Fang. Go, go, go. He's saving the file and loading it every time I die. What is this fight? Please heal me. Heal me. Heal me to full health. Quickly before he comes back. Okay. Oh, please be the final. Please be the final stage. What is that? What is that? This game was so wholesome. And I think I broke it. There's finger guns. Ah, uh, what the hell? What is this game? Horror, murder, horror of the death, murder, damned, hatred, trap, soulless, corrupt. Oh, that wasn't enough health. Oh, okay. And he saved the file. It's not actually a very accurate shot with those. Every time I die, he just reloads the file. Wait, can I lose this fight? Oh, there's six phases because he has six souls. That makes sense. Oh, yes. Food. Bagels. Or eyeballs. I'm not sure which. It's one or the other. Okay. 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 He's shooting him from both eyes now. And there's flies. 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 Fight. I think I missed my opportunity to fight him. What? Ah. What is this? Am I winning? I think that's the last one. Oh, I have to be ready for the act button. Please. Please. Yes. Okay. I did not get enough health there. Oh, there's six hearts. What's going on? Oh. Okay, they're healing me to full health. The souls are fighting against the evil demon flower. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. All right, well, he's still destroying me. Of all the final boss fights of games I've played, this is the weirdest one. Can I even die? I'm not sure. Because I know I'm getting hit a lot, but suddenly they're not doing much damage. What is the sound effect? Ah, thumbs up. I don't think I can die as long as I just keep moving. Oh god, finger guns. Oh, I'm on fire and I'm getting nuked and I'm getting karate. Uh oh, there goes hope. I lost a healing item and I lost. What I'm hoping is that it will save back to the last time Flowey saved the game. It's gonna trash the game again, isn't it? Yep, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's delete this virus off of my computer. Pathetic. Now you're does it start me off again at phase one? I think it might. Oh no, it doesn't. All the projects we've made stays. Because he saved over it. Just not his health bar. Just gotta be careful. This fight is so hard. Okay, he can hit us if we stand still. That is confirmed. Uh-oh. Okay, I think as long as we get every healing item, we're fine. What is happening? There's finger guns. <laughs> yeah, I think we're immortal as long as we get every healing item. Oh! Did we win? No. No! This can't be happening! No, but it is, good sir! You! You! You idiot! Oh! He controls the save files! Do you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world, and you, you're helpless. Helpless and alone. Guy, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die.
Huh? What? How? I don't know. Well, I'm just... What? Where are my powers? The, the source? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do this! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! We defeated the Eldritch God with the power of plot armor, guys. The power of plot armor is unmatched. Oh. Look who it is. Do you remember what I said in the first couple of minutes of the very first episode of this little series? I'm going to kill that flower. I knew you had it in you.